Hello dear viewer, I thought I would bring you along on a little experiment that uh, I'm playing for myself this morning. It's only last as long as this cup of coffee. Why have I got the Global UTM Association page up on this browser, a window underneath me? Uh, it's because, like it or not, we're going to get swept up into uh, unmanned or unified traffic management systems one way or another. For me, down here in Africa, probably a lot uh, longer after places like America and Europe. Um, all of these UTMs, many providers that are available, will be pulling ADSB data in from largely crowdsourced places. Um, places that rely on end users having receivers um, to hear and then forward uh, ADSB packets. Not only standard ADSB messages, but the mode S messages. The mode S stuff is the stuff the slightly older transponders that need multilateration. They need multiple receivers to hear the same packet, almost not packet, but the same bit of signal, and then work out the position of the aircraft from that. So they all rely on plane spotters, basically, plane and train spotters. Now, the UK is a fantastic country for plane and train spotters. I'm sure I'm from the UK. I'm sure people there won't mind me saying it. And as such, the networks of receivers there are fantastic. Um, I have, well, we have I, oh, the, the big important I. In South Africa, we've got our own little network of receivers. Uh, this is what it's uh, seeing at the moment. I've mentioned it before, and we feed this straight into Mission Planner. And why do we do this? Well, because... Um, I think, uh, it's, whilst it's great to have onboard ADSB, uh, so your drone can see ADSB equipped traffic and only ADSB traffic equipped traffic mind and get out of the way if required, and that's really easy to do. All you need is one of these connected, these, these will connect to DJI gear and they'll also connect to um, Pixhawk uh, of all, Pixhawks of all, all variations. And this receiver, here's ADSB traffic and your aircraft can get out of the way. Uh, the code already exists to do that. The snag is, uh, if you're low level in a valley and something pops up from the next valley, um, then you haven't got long to think about it. So that's why I prefer having the, the big picture view and, and like to see what's coming. So anyway, let's get back to these UTMs. So UTMs are gonna rely on data coming from receivers placed all over the place. I've got the main contenders up on my screen now from the UK, because the UK is obviously as busy as in here. So we've got Plane Finder, 360 Radar, um, Flight Aware, and Flight Radar 24. Um, let's get rid of these other windows while we're here. We don't need them here. So why have I picked this bit of airspace? This little bit of airspace, I've got a chart here. This little airspace, uh, Twixt, that's Heathrow's, um, Heathrow Zone down here, Luton and then Stansted up there. This is a busy little bit of air, airspace uh, that people fly through to, to well, to run run the gauntlet between these big, big controlled airspace. So let's have a look, that's, that's an interesting one there. Uh, I don't know what a sports cruiser is, but there's a light aircraft at 1878 feet. So we're testing now, does Flight Tracker have that? Plane Finder even, yeah, there he is, same aeroplane. Uh, what about what about not seeing it on flight aware and flight radar 24 that's what it means that everybody has him they're all seeing that aircraft so that's a pretty good that's a pretty good start what about this fellow down here what's that super light not showing on flight aware this is a bit like watching paint dry isn't it I just thought it'd be interesting to compare and contrast. This one does take a while to load between each screen. There's that one, wasn't it? No. All right, that one should be easy to find, just coming up to Chessent. Oh, there he is there, coming up to Chessent. Nothing on Flight Aware. I wonder why Flight Aware doesn't... Am I not setting up a Flight Aware filter somewhere? But so far, Flight Away is the absolute loser, isn't he? Now, where's that other fellow going up to Chesson? Let's zoom in a little bit. That's probably him, wasn't it? MIJS. Oh, yeah, look, there's its track. So why did I choose this area? There's this map. I've probably got more than 2,000 hours flying in this area, so I know it very well. 
Um, and I know the aircraft ran the gauntlet there. Ooh, flight aware really are. Gosh. They haven't got anything at low level, have they? So it's W, 1900 feet, they've got him. This is watch paint dry, that's out of our Luton. No raid. Now that's a glider. Oh yeah, that is definitely a glider, and it's um at um RF Henlow. That, yeah, there's a second one. <laughs> yeah, that's that's our a uh, Holton, not Henlow. Sorry, RF Holton. Let's see. Okay, they're showing that there. So these will be coming via either Flam or Open Glider Network. Oh look, flight away, nothing seen. Flight radar twenty four. Nothing seen. That's bad news, isn't it? Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. I might have spoken too soon then. That's them there, isn't it? Act two and three, going around the circuit. Yeah, okay, all right, I spoke too soon. So, flight aware, flight tracker, and 360, there's an airliner going over the top. Going to be over for watching later. Yeah, yeah, it will be. My kids are all over me at the moment. Yeah, cool. Yeah, no, it is. The, the coverage... Uh, I can never get your name. Gygax, Gygax, Gygax. Yeah, the coverage issue is really important. And it is... Uh, at the end of the day, it's he... The, the service with the most nerds with the receivers or the most receivers that they've put out into the wild wins. I suppose I'm... I'm, I'm actually looking in the wrong area because... Uh, that's a really popular populated area so there's bound to be loads of receivers for each area let's go somewhere where they probably haven't got lots scotland yes scotland that, that that'll be a place where there aren't lots of receivers by default so let's go up to scotland uh plane finder oh, plane finder's got a few oh, they've definitely got stuff at aberdeen uh, look at all that helicopter traffic that's that's interesting so that's going out to the oil rigs out there. That, yeah, that is, that is an interesting. Oh, that's a P8. That's um, a military. Oh yeah. Oh wow. Look at the difference. Look at the difference. All right. Let's leave that there. That all. Uh, okay. All right. These red aircraft, the military aircraft, operating as a Falcon. They uh, operate as well. We'll talk about that some other day. But look. All right. Let's straight away. Oh no. That's loaded some more. Has it got the Falcons? Yes, Fradu. That's a Falcon, but it's just not identified it as such. And that aircraft that's playing with it, these aircraft, one of them drops off, um, pretends to be a missile, and then it aggresses uh, ships uh, flying the profile of the missile, the fleet's requirements air defense unit. Uh, right, let's, let's go up plane finder. Well, low and fast, Jalax, like, that's the one you've got to worry about. <laughs> well, Flight Away is not winning, is it, really? Um, I, I, I might even shut that window. Let's see what Flight Radar 24 has to say. Aberdeen, again, it's likely to have quite a few receivers because, yeah, there's that pair of uh, uh, Falcons. Um, there's a th third one. Okay, so everyone's got that. That's Bond Helicopters, again, going out to the rigs. Another Falcon. It must be. A, is it? What day is it? It's Wednesday, isn't it? Yeah, we used to have a war every Thursday. So the coverage there is quite good. Everyone seems to have. Oh, yeah. Oh, and there's Hawks. Okay, there's an aggressor. There we are. <laughs> that's, that's just not where we're supposed to. That's not what I'm supposed to be doing. Um, US military Poseidon going off to do something. Right, all right. Let's, let's try and find a more. Uh, yeah, there's got to be less receivers in there. Uh, yeah, that's just the SAR helicopters. These are the, the SAR helicopters, the Bristos S92s. I don't know where they are, though. We'll let it, um, let it come into play. Um, ICA, oh, I could be wrong actually. 
Anyway, 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 anyway. Let's not look at that. I'm getting, I'm getting, dis I'm getting distracted. Um, search and rescue helicopters also. There's a naval reporting system I know that they use. A na well, a, 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 some sort of maritime reporting system. Um, and, uh, yeah. Oh, I know, I know. Oh, just, just for nerdiness sake. Let's go down to the Mac loop, which is over here. This is where um, there's a... These are aircraft out of Shawbury. Uh, the helicopter is Shawbury's there. Um, the air traffic training school is where I did my air traffic training for the Royal Air Force. Uh, but they also, it's where the helicopter school is. And then we'll also have a look at jets going into the Mac Loop, maybe. And the Mac Loop is, is over here somewhere. Um, yeah, flight aware. Do we even bother? Do we even bother looking at the coverage of Flight Away? Why? Why am I? Why again? Why am I doing this? If you've, um, if you are joining now, I'm doing this because at some time we're going to have to decide, as an industry, which UTM we sort of support or we're forced to support. And then if you do have a receiver of some sort, best you'd be feeding that in order to help the data for everybody else or to give everybody else a chance. So Flight Radar 24, uh, what's that, GLX? Uh, we might even see... Yeah, there's that GLX. That one's going inbound there. I was wondering if, if there might even have been a drone uh, airborne over there for... Um, uh, from Aberporth, uh, the big uh, ARPAS uh, training places there. I can get overlays here and I can add danger areas, I believe. Boink! Uh, there they are. These, this, this danger area, can't oh, again, pull up a sandbag. This dan all these danger areas here are for remote aircraft uh, and uh, other users. But, um, and that's linking into, these are old, that's an old, uh, they, I know the Royal Air Force are cleared down to 75 feet down over there. But all of this, all of this means, so our pads can go and do big circles there, or they can go and play in all of this um, at, at low level and doing stuff, uh, read the ground. All right, all right, anyway. Really, coverage is what I was after. So there's those military aircraft. Not a lot going on, is there? There's a Chanute down there, look. Uh, oh, there we go. Right, okay. So, Shawbury area. <laughs> Flight aware. <laughs> Flight aware. Don't bother applying. Plane finder. Mm. Let's go to the Shawbury area. There's lots of lots of aircraft there. Plane finder, you're doing quite well. Zorro, some Hercules going north, I guess it is. Are they Royal Air Force ones? Yeah. Uh, I see De Defence Helicopter Flying School. No, they don't use different tech. They they just have a different amount of... So, uh, Jylax in the comments is asking, Jygax, Jygax, the goat, do different apps use different technology? No, they just have a different number of nerds supplying data to them, or plane spotters. Your one-year-old's attacking me. Yeah, I'm trying to get this done before my one-year-old arrives back. <laughs> and the, the teenagers are in their rooms. There's no chance that we'll be seeing the teenagers. Uh, where am I looking at that light aircraft? That was a good track. He's at Wrexham. G G F I G G Fib is at Wrexham. Where's Wrexham? There's Wrexham. Okay, so Plane Finder doesn't have that track. 360 does. Flight Aware. Why bother? And Flight Radar 24 has it. Okay. But Flight Radar 24 doesn't quite have... It doesn't have those Hercules at low level going north. There they go. Now, these are exactly the tracks that were warriors when we're out doing our stuff. Look, they're banging along at uh, uh, 1,800 feet. I don't know quite what the ground level's there. That's obviously a pair in formation. And... Um, those would ruin our day if we're mapping. So those are what we need to know about. Plane Finder doesn't have them. Flight Aware doesn't have them. 360 Radar has them. 
and flight radar 24 doesn't have them so instantly we can say that 360 radar must have the most receivers in that area and that that's example it's taken me a long time i don't know how long i've been going with this but it's taken me a long time to get to this reality okay where else can we go in the uk uh right that one at night no he's quite high at 3a everyone should have him down at night uh, flight tracker okay flight tracker doesn't hear what was that this is GSHMI a team Eurostar I don't know that why am I bother looking at flight aware no need to bother looking at that is there um, okay so the only the only service oh no in fact it's even fallen off that no no hang on what I'm talking about yeah no okay so 360 has got HMI flights Plane Finder does not have HMI. Flight Aware, never mind. Flight Radar 24 hasn't got him. So we can confidently say that uh, the other services don't have coverage to 3,831 feet in the Knighton area. And look, coming up behind him, a Chinook. Is that Chinook on anyone? No. 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 Uh, oh, that's decided to recycle itself. I was just as I was going to have a EGBS. Uh, that's where I did my helicopter training. <laughs> Bullshit. BS. Uh, that's Shobden. And that is in that area. Okay, right. Hmm. So we know who else had. 18, that's quite low in the Redditch area. GTORC. There's a Cherokee. But there ought to be. Don't bother. I'm almost not. I'm almost just going to take that one away. That's him there, isn't it? Yeah, there he is. Okay, so Plane Finder has him. And there he is there. Okay, so Flight Radar 24 has him as well. Of course, um, am I doing am I doing these services of justice? Because I'm talking about Welsh Wales. But people will do commercial work in Welsh Wales. What about let's go down to my parents? Let's take it down to the West Country down here what it's worth on that there's definitely jobs going to be done down here there's a tornado wings back and at speed does anyone else have him where was the tornado the tornado was gone from that oh no there he is there tornado's up high so he's no threat uh, this hawk, Navy Hawks, at uh, 2,000 feet. So that's potentially is a, a threat if we are operating. Nothing seen on Plane Finder. Nothing seen on that. And nothing seen on Flight Radar 24. What about 4,000 feet? Doesn't really matter. This is well out of the way of uh, our PASOPs, but let's see if he's there. Nothing seen on Plane Finder. That's high. Look, 4,000 feet. You would hope that Plane Finder would have that. That's interesting. What's that? That's a glider. That's a North Hill. That's where I used to go gliding as well. So they've got OGN. O, but the OGN coverage, that'll, that'll, it's, always at, it's either at Dunkerswell or North Hill. That'll be based on these guys' receivers. So everyone should have him. But that isn't true. Well, let that. Why is that there? No, no. That's been filtered out for some reason there. All right, south of Bristol, that PA thirty-two, nineteen hundred feet. Nothing there. Is that him there? No, it's not him, is it? And the PA thirty-two, the American Register, straight south of the airport at Bristol. There's the airport at Bristol. Not showing on that. Not showing, of course, it isn't. And yeah, not showing on that. So there's another track. Mm, okay. Yeah. All right. So I think I don't think I need to do any more of this. Really, I think that it it, it just shows that the service with the most receivers wins. And in the UK, well, let's go over to Barry, Barry Island. Um, I'm not going to lie to you. Uh, that is... Ah, look. 
So I think it's quite easy to see that in the UK, two services are winning. That is 360 Radar and Flight Radar 24. Flight Aware, don't even apply. Flight Tracker or Plane Finder, sorry, I keep saying Flight Tracker, that's what they put up in the top of the browser, but Plane Finder. .net, you need to try a little bit harder. Here endeth this I Wonder livecast. Thanks very much for watching. Don't forget to join us, 2100 GMT, every Tuesday for drone stuff this week. Have a lovely weekend, lovely 4th of July to your American viewers, and I'll see you all again soon. Cheers for now. Bye-bye.